Right, so guys, we're going to do the maps. We're going to do maps. Nurse maps. Right. So, this is going to be fun. So, Adoroths, um, Record Yard is a D tier, honestly. Nah, 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 right, okay, we'll be we'll to go. we'll be we'll to go. <laughs> Record Yard, I don't like on Nurse. I really don't like it. It's, it's extremely strong if you're able to hold one side of the map. If you're up against good survivors, which you most likely will be because there's two aces in your lobby that sent you here, then they're going to f*** you over. I think as well, if you can hold one side of the map, but the, so like, you spawn in with nurse, you, you, you will spawn at one side of the map, the survivors will spawn at the other side of the map. You're going to blink down, and if the survivors are smart, if the survivors are smart, they're going to split. They're going to go up to the top. They're, go they're going to be coming up as you're going down. You're then forced to play it in one side of the map. So you go down, you get a down. Say, say you spawn at main, you go down to shack. Right, you get a down at shack. You're bouncing up and down the map. I fucking hate this map. This map sucks. I, I, I fucking hate this map. I'm putting it in D tier. Uh, nah, I'm not even arguing. This would be a B tier. I would move to B tier if you manage because this is one of the this is one of the maps, the one map in the game. This is one of the only maps in the game where if you do free gen, you're, there, there's no save it. If the survivors free gen, it's an easy win. There's too much shit in the middle. I don't like it. I hate it with a passion. The other all havens, uh, Azeroth, sorry, are, are actually not that bad. They're not that bad. So Azeroth's resting place. A tier, honestly, like I don't have a problem with Azeroth's resting place. I don't have a problem with Wretched Shop. The main building is not that bad at all. Main building is very, very easy to navigate. Gas Haven, although, although it is a little bit more of a strong main building, not for nurse. Because there's so many like cracks. Like, see, like the first half of the building, you can see through. Like, there's so many broken windows and stuff. Like, I wouldn't say that the, the gas haven for nurse, obviously, we're talking about nurse. Main building's really strong. The main building's really strong, but against Nurse, unless they're at the garage side, even then. So I would put this in A tier as well. The main buildings in these maps are really not that strong. They're really not that strong. Um, again, as a Nurse, you, you don't want to chase main buildings. You don't want to chase areas in general, but are like, you know, like line of sight blockers that are quite enclosed. They have a lot of shit around them and stuff. Blood Lodge as well, I'm going to put that in A tier as well. I think Record Shard, I fucking hate the map. I, I, I hate it so much. I don't know how many times I've actually been four outed as a Nurse on record yards because yeah probably have scale issue right but it's, it's extremely easy for good survivors to not free gen themselves and then you're just fucked. that's a severe scale issue maybe, maybe so maybe so i just don't like record yard there's a lot of bias to it because other killers as well like I, i'm not just using my well i should be using just nurse all right we'll use it in c tier all right we put it in c tier it goes in c tier i i am putting it anywhere but anyway it goes in c tier all right rotten fields i'm gonna put it in a tier it's a tier it's only got shack it's a very, very open map for Nurse. It's extremely strong. Um, the only thing about it is obviously the the line of sight of the corn, right? That's literally it. This would be an S tier without the corn, obviously. Um, but yeah, this is an this is an A tier for me. It's a really strong map for Nurse. Like they, they only have a shack in the middle, and then they've got all the the open field. It's an extremely strong map for Nurse. Like I don't think I've like ever been four outed on that map, honestly. Um, Fractured Kill Shed. All right, so the one with that, I'm a little, okay, so this is the map I lost my very first win streak to. So this is going in B tier for the, for the reason that the main building is a little bit more harder to navigate. Main building, like the rest of the map's fine, but main building's a bitch. Main building's a lot, like if, it's not the worst main building, like, you know, if they're in between the hay and stuff like that, it's fine. It depends if the window's on like the side that, the, that they're running out as well with like pallet and stuff. Like, I'm going to put this in B. Rancid, again, the Abator map is not really that bad. It's got a strong main building. It does have a strong main building. However, I... yeah, that's the one with the railings up and down. Yeah, and it's like it's got like the the pallet. Yeah, I, this one isn't really that bad. I would say this is a strong nurse map. Main building can swallow you. Main, you can be swallowed in some parts of main building here. So I think I think this is a B tier as well. Actually, like I don't I don't mind it. I don't hate it. I don't mind it. Don't hate it. Torment Creek. I would put this in A tier. The, the main building shit for survivors. It's shit. Like I can blink, I can see through it. There's not really much they can work with in Torment Creek. It's not S tier. I wouldn't put it in B. Yeah, I would put this in A tier. It's a solid map. It's a solid, solid Nush map. Thompson House. It's a little bit like the fact that you got to go up and down. Like it's. I would put this in B tier as well. This is a B tier. It's a B tier. I would say. Mm, nah, I, I'm going to move it to A tier. I, I think this belongs in A tier. Very, very solid map. I guess the same could be said for these maps, but Rancid Abator, like, it's, the main building is, like, half the map in a way. Like, it's right in the middle, and it covers a lot of the map. You're, you're playing on the, the ring, essentially, like, if you want to not go near the main. Um, 
Homestead House is really, it's just a house in the middle of the map, which you can avoid. Hope that they do the gen, and then you're fine. Bad ham. Bad ham. All right, I've always said this, I don't have a problem with bad ham as nurse, usually. Bad ham 5, I really don't have a problem with. It's very open. It's got a lot of open space. Bad ham 5, I, I honestly, I, I, like, bad ham in general, okay, in general, it's really tough for killer. Um, can be. Um, I would say 1 to 4 are probably maybe C tier. B tier, maybe. Like, I don't, I honestly don't have a problem with bad ham. Bad ham 5, I'm going to place higher than the, the other 4. I don't have a problem with bad ham 5. Bad ham 5 is extremely, really, I think it's really strong for nurse because of the open, like, it's extremely open near, like, where the school is. Like, you come out the school, it's got this big, massive open space, and then at the back, it's still got, like, a big open space. It's still got house of pain and stuff like that. Um, but again, just avoid it. Just avoid the areas that you, like, so just avoid main, just avoid the house of pain. And this map's actually really solid. The shack as well is usually quite open as well. It's usually a corner so like it's, it's usually pretty strong i'm going to put a uh, bad ham five in b tier um i'm going to put the other ones in c tier it's not my favorite map it's not my favorite map by any means but it's not a bad map for nurse you know like it, it, obviously there's better there's better um but yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna put those in c tier all right suffo most of macmillan is really strong re re really really strong uh suffocation pit is quite strong there's not really, yeah, there's not a main building, right? It's just like the little, oh wait, no, the, I'm thinking of Shetlerwoods. Sorry, I was thinking of Shetlerwoods. That's, this is the one I was thinking of. So while I'm talking about it, I'll do Shetlerwoods. Shetlerwoods, I'm going to put on B tier. Sh Shetlerwoods is, actually, I'm going to put that in A tier. Shetlerwoods is actually pretty strong. Sh Shetlerwoods is solid. Suffocation Pit, I'm going to put that in A tier as well. Groan and Storehouse, I'm going to put that in A tier as well. The main building is a little bit strong, but again, like it's, it's nothing. Like, there's a lot of windows. There's a lot of windows, you got to think. Like, you, you can see, you can, like, there's not, like, there's not, like, it's not, like, blocked, you know, you're not making predictions. You can literally see through a main building at most times. Mo most times you can see through a main building. I, I would put this in A tier. Alright, Cold Tower is a... Cold Tower's an S tier, honestly, I would say. I would say Cold Tower and Ironworks. Ironworks pretty strong as well. I, I would say these are S tier for Nurse. Yeah, like, there's... Cold Tower is extremely strong. It's extremely... The thing with Cold Tower is it's, it's extremely strong for survivors, and it's extremely strong for Nurse. So, like, that's why, like, you'll see, like, see, like, in cop matches and stuff, like, usually people will go to Cold Tower against a nurse. Suffle Pit's really strong as well, but it does have a little bit of, like, um, that's the one with the basement, like, where it goes down, like, into the, like, the, yeah, I, I think Suffle stays in A, actually, yeah, it stays in A. I think Cold Tower and Ironworks stay in S. Father Campbell's Chapel. It's a big map. It's a really big map. It's a big map. I don't like it. Personally, I don't like it. Um, but it's not the worst nurse map. It's really not. Actually, main building is shit. It's fucking shit, actually. It's going in B tier. It's going in B tier. There are so many, like, dude, I don't know how many times I've tried to blink up and my blink connects with the table. The, the, do you know what I'm talking about? Like, the, the, the fucking shit in the mid, right beside the gen. I don't know how many times I've tried to blink. Again, it's a skeleton here. But it's fucking annoying. It's so annoying. There's so much shit in main that you can't blink through. And it makes it really, really, like, fuck. Like, I, I don't like Father Campbell's Chapel. The stud board is... The same, I would say. I'd put it in B tier. It's again, it's a big map. Main building sucks. Wait, Father Ca Wait, the chapel's not that bad actually. I'll put that in A tier. The, the chapel's. Oh, wait, I got the muddled up. Sorry, chat. I got the muddled up. I was thinking of this one first. You Father little bitch. Fuck you. Chapel. I would put in A tier. It's not the best. It's not the the worst. Sorry. I would put that in A tier. The stud ward has been in B tier. Now, chapel. Wait, is, am I getting confused? Am I actually? Wait. So the stud ward is, is the big main building. You know what? I'm putting the bacon B tier. All right. Just because they're big fucking maps. Alright, I'm gonna put them in B tier, I'm gonna put them in B tier. Mother's Dwelling. Right, Mother's Dwelling and Temple of Progression are both fucking dog shit. I fucking hate them. Um, I hate Temple. Temple is really, really, really strong. Um, against Nurse, if you know how to run her. Um, there's obviously, there's a lot of line of shite. Line of shite. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run with that. Line of shite. Uh, blockers. I, I personally just don't like these maps. Honestly, I would, honestly, there's, I'd put these in D tier. I don't like them. I don't like them. Hail Rose! Hail Rose is actually not that bad, honestly. It's, uh, it's, it's actually not that bad on Nurse. I'm going to put it in C tier. It's not the worst map. I would prefer it over Grim Pantry. Grim Pantry's going in D tier. Grim Pantry's going in D tier because the main building, it fucking sucks. It sucks. This main building really, really sucks. Even as Nurse, I'm always predicting around the main. I'm always predicting the main. Like, it's very, very hard to get a precise point where they are in main in the, with Grim Pantry. Grim, again, Grim Pantry's D. I fucking hate this map. Right, family residence. Family res. Oh, yeah, so... Main building isn't really that bad. Again, it depends on like windows and stuff like that. But it's it's really not that bad. It's a nice open map. Um, I'll put it in B tier. 
put in B tier. Sanctum, B tier as well. I don't really mind the shrine maps. These maps are really strong with us. So, so RPD. I love RPD. RPD as nurse is very, very strong. I think just out of like, because it's my tier list, I'm going to put them at S because I fucking love RPD. RPD is my favorite nurse map. It is my favorite nurse map. Again, this is my tier list. So I, again, people might not agree. Uh, RPD, I win most of my games on nurse. I don't think I lose games on RPD these days, honestly. Koba, Koba goes in D. The Stromo. That goes in D as well. I fucking hate Nostromo. But it's not the worst, so I'm gonna put it in C. It's not the best, it's not the worst. It's, it's below mid. It's, yeah, it's Nostromo. Shattered Square. Now, the Shattered Square is actually fine. It's really, really fine. I'm actually gonna include the, the new map as well. When it, when the new map uh, released the ruins, I, I, I remember saying that it's one of Nurse's worst maps. It's actually one of Nurse's best maps. The ruins, uh, like the ruins, Shattered Square is extremely, extremely strong. I didn't realize that, like, it's so fucking strong because so like half the map you're able to go up and down in and then the other side of shack is like so like see when you're doing nowhere to hide or like any sort of aura reading i'm gonna put this in a tier forgotten ruins is one of my favorite nurse maps now a garden of joy yeah d tier yeah d tier fuck this map garden of shite goes in d tier midwich is an s tier map for nurse although the changes are like they're not really that bad honestly for nurse it's like they don't really affect nurse like all the like the additional stuff you know, um, I don't think it affects Nurse that much. Dead Dog Saloon is a solid S tier map for Nurse. It's solid S tier. Like, it's, it's a really fucking strong map. Gideon's, I'm going to put an A tier. Gideon's is a solid Nurse map as well. There is a few parts of Gideon that you can't blink through. Um, like, some un there's, there's some unblinkable boxes, like, in the mid of it. Like, where, like, some of the generators are. There's, like, three different boxes. And, like, if you, like, aim your blink in that box's direction, you're, you'll get swallowed. There is a few spots, but once you know the spots, it's really not that bad. Um, Gideon's is solid for Nurse, honestly. Haddonfield is solid for Nurse as well. I'm even going to put that in A tier. Haddonfield, especially now, Haddonfield now is very, very strong. There's barely anything. It's very open. It does have a strong main building, I guess. Um, but nah, it's, it's completely fine for Nurse. Ormond, I'm going to put in a, a tier as well. It's not the bad, it's not the worst. It's not bad, it's not the worst. Like, you know, it's, it's not good. It's not like S tier, but like, I, I do like Ormond the Nurse. Like, I, I, I think I like the aesthetics as well. I really like Ormond as a whole. Like, it, like it just looks amazing and stuff. Like, I, I genuinely don't ever have a problem with Ormond. And the amount of times I have been sent to Ormond is, is crazy. Larry's? Yeah. Like, Larry's goes in D tier. Larry's goes in D tier. For reasons we all know. Larry's is shit. Area Crows? I'm gonna put it in C tier. I'm gonna put it in C tier. It's not, I wouldn't put it in D tier, it's not the worst Nurse map, but it's definitely, it's definitely C tier for me. And Hawkins, D tier. Hawkins is definitely D tier. So let's go over this again real quick. I feel like the tier list vids will also do well on YouTube. I've, I've, I'm, I hope so, I hope so. I'm, I'll, I probably will make them a video, honestly. I may as well, right? So our S tier maps, we have Cold Tower, Ironworks, RPD, Midwich, and Dead Dog Saloon for Nurse. I think that's solid. I, 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 again, you guys might agree, you might disagree. Um, but for me, this is my, my tier list on maps.